To make our Excel file automated or dynamic, we use macros or VBA codes. But the main challenge with VBA codes or macros, in case some code will not work properly, our whole worksheet or workbook is not going to work properly. In today's video, we will see few examples of using macros without recording them. And even the macros what we are going to use today is inbuilt. In case we want to edit something over there, it can be done very easily. Let's start with our very first example. Our very first example is freeze selection. On the top, I have got automate tab. This tab is same as home, insert or any other tab. In case this tab is not active in your Excel, go on top and click on three dots. Come at the bottom and click on more commands. In more commands, we get two things, ribbon and quick access toolbar. We have to go in ribbon. In the right hand side, we can see main tabs and these are our tabs. Let me minimize this. In these tabs, you will be getting the option of automate. In case it's unchecked, just check this. Let me uncheck this once. So if it will be unchecked in your case, just check this, come down and click on save and you will be able to see automate tab on the top. Let's see our very first example. I'll click on automate. On the left hand side, we can see few options. Over here, we get the option of all scripts. I'll click over here. On the right hand side, a new window popped up or a new window got opened. Over here, we can see code editor. This window is movable. Means if I want to take this to left, it can be done. In case I want to position this on top, it can be done very easily. So in code editor, we get three things. Recent this workbook and samples. I'll be going to samples and over here we get lots of options. I'll increase the size so that all the things will be visible properly. I'll come to my data. I'll select the data from where I want to freeze it. Now I'll be coming to right hand side and we'll look for freeze pane option. The second option over here is freeze selection. I'll click over here and we got the option of run and edit. I'll click on run. I'll close this and just notice my pane got freezed. Let's come down to cross check. Let's go on top and it's working perfectly. To unfreeze this, go to view tab, come to right hand side. Over here, we get the option of freeze pane. I'll click on drop down and we'll select unfreeze pane. Let's go on top. Perfect. Let's move to next example. Highlight blank cells. This is my data. And over here, I have got lots of blank cells and I want to highlight only blank cells. I'll click anywhere inside my data and will press Ctrl A or Command A. Whole data will be selected. Now I'll be going to Automate tab. We'll come to left and we'll click on All Scripts. We'll come to right hand side and we'll click on Samples. We'll take this to left. We'll position this on top and we'll increase the size. At the bottom, we can see highlight blank cells. I'll click over here. We'll go on top and we'll click on run. And all the blank cells got highlighted. The current color is red. In case you want to change the color, just go to edit. The code is available over here. We can see it. Let's come down. Over here, we can see red. I'll click inside double inverted comma and we'll delete red from here. And we'll do this yellow. We'll go on top and we'll click on run and the color of all blank cells got changed. Let's come over here. Let's do this green. Let's run this. Let me close this. So in the beginning, it was red color. Then we changed to yellow and now we have changed to green color. Perfect. Let's move to next example. Remove duplicates. In the whole data, I have got lots of duplicates and over here, I just want unique values means nothing should be repeated or there should be no duplicates. I'll click anywhere inside my data. We'll press Ctrl A or Command A. We'll go to Automate tab. We'll come to left and we'll click on All Scripts. We'll come to right hand side and we'll click on Samples. We'll take this to left. We'll position this on top. We'll drag this down to see all the available options. Let's look for Remove Duplicates. So we are not able to see the option of Remove Duplicates. Let's come down and over here we can see the option of remove duplicates. I'll click over here and we'll click on run. The script ran with errors means I got an error. Let me close this. Let me select the data once again. This time I'm not going to select this. I'll select my data. We'll come to right hand side. 
and we'll click on run and just notice all the duplicate values got removed means if you are getting any error just reselect your data once again and click on run and everything will be working perfectly let's close this and let's move to next example remove hyperlink these are my employee details and on the right hand side i have got website and these are hyperlinks if i'll click on the link i'll be diverted to website and over here i don't want hyperlinks i want all the links in text format so what can be done let's select the data first we'll go to automate tab we'll come to left hand side we'll click on all scripts we'll come to right hand side and we'll click on samples we'll come down over here we can see the option of remove hyperlinks from sheet i'll click on arrowhead and just notice all the hyperlinks got removed and we can see the text format perfect let's move to next example create pivot table i'll select my data from top to bottom we'll come to right hand side we are not able to see the option over here let me take this to left we'll position this on top we'll increase the size let's come down and over here we can see the option of create a new pivot table from let me click over here so this is the option to create pivot table from a table but our data is not in table format so this option is not going to work let's go back let's look for more options generate a sales summary i'll click over here generate a sales summary using pivot table i'll click on run a new sheet got opened and just notice our pivot table got inserted and it got inserted in a new sheet let's go back to our data let's convert our data in table format now i'll press control t small window will pop up create table my table as headers and i'll do okay we'll take this to right table styles let's close this table styles i'll click on drop down and we'll select light one perfect now our data is in table format we'll go to automate all scripts samples we'll take this to left we'll position this on top we'll increase the size we'll come down and this time i'll select create a new pivot table from table i'll click over here and just notice our pivot table got inserted in a new sheet here is our pivot table in fact slicers got inserted along with our chart let's move to next and last example automate task over here we have got the sales of january but it's not in proper format we will do some formatting over here and to do the formatting we will be going to right hand side and we'll click on new script turn action into scripts record actions i'll click over here a new window got opened on the right hand side let's close this now i'll select my data from top to bottom we'll go to home tab and we'll insert borders on the top we can see stop and at the bottom we can see recording means whatever step we are following all the things are getting recorded over here now i'll go on top we'll select the headers and we'll change the cell color we'll change the font color we'll change the font style we'll do as arial black we'll increase the column size we'll come at the bottom this will be total we'll click over here and we'll insert the formula plus or equal to sum bracket open we'll select my data from top to bottom we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we got the figure let's align this in center we'll create borders over here we'll click on total and we'll change the cell color as well as font color we'll come to total and over here i'll change the text color we'll press control b or command b and it will be bold all the things are done now i'll come to right hand side and we'll click on stop your actions are being saved as a script and this is the script what we have created right now let's close this now i'll be going to automate all scripts earlier nothing was visible in recent but now we can see the script i'll click over here we'll click on the name and we'll rename this this will be formatting we'll come down and we'll click on run so we had already done changes over here let's go to new sales data of february i'll select my data we'll come to right hand side and we'll click on run just notice we got total over here we got total sales over here color of headers got changed let's go to march let's select the data let's come to right hand side and i'll click on run perfect let's go to april 
Let's select the data or let's click without selecting the data this time. I'll click on run. I haven't selected my data, but then also my formatting got proper. Perfect. So these were the few examples of using macros without recording macros or without using VBA codes. I'll provide the link of file in description box. In case you want to download, you can.